So why are people attacking barista organizers from within the alleged socialist sphere, let's say? Um, well, it's the Larouche, those French fuckers. Um, it's fascists who think they're clever. Um, and uh, the Skylar White, Skiller, Skylar White Institute. Um, first of all, most people who are going to be making these attacks in the direct sense are doing so because they're being manipulated. They don't understand why, what the objective is. So the objective there is an attack on the demographics of the workforce that are pre predominant within that particular workforce, which is women and queer people is a, a disproportionately high number. And when you attack them and you get into these little side debates about whether they're part of the proletariat, whether they're productive labor, blah, 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 blah. Um, you're missing the point is that the barista organizers are the most or the least vulnerable in the grand scheme of things. When you look up and down the supply chain, so when you're trying to organize industry, so if we're going to talk about organizing industry along industrial lines, they're the ones that have, that can afford to get fired. They're the ones that have families to fall back on for the most part. Generational wealth. Not, not that these people are easy, but they're, they can do a lot better than they do. And I've witnessed a whole lot of uh, what would it seem like it, uh, legitimate grievances and what are legitimate grievances against people within these campaigns uh, on behalf of other people within these campaigns. But that's not what's going on here. Those grievances are being twisted around for an ultimate, more grand, big picture plan. And these people are attacking the baristas, which are the figurehead, which by which underlies all that is the truckers, the transport workers, the bean roasters, the bean plantation workers who are not much higher than slaves were and are in the prison system here in the South. So people are going to feel pretty fucking stupid when they realize who's bidding they're going. You know, the Henry Fords, the Howard Schultz, the Zionist corporate machine. That to you, let in. Great fucking job, guys. Great job.